The board's first job is to help Adam, still sober, rate the looks of 30 women from 1 to 10. There we go. He's got just five seconds to score each photo. He can see the time tick down on the left of the screen. I gotta say the exercise of, uh, of giving a quick rating, it doesn't feel great. It's kind of an awful thing to have to do. <laughs> ah. Like I find myself resisting giving a one or a two, but... Yeah, but... I got a 96! <laughs> so the total possible score is potentially 300. Out of that, I gave a 96. The question from here on in will be, as I drink, will my overall score go up? Now it's Carrie's turn to rate the chaps. Quite honestly, there are no supermodels on here. Oh, God, do I rate you on your hair? <laughs> Carrie's either much more generous or less discriminating than Adam. Okay, total score, 154. But she does know what pushes her buttons. I noticed I was rating higher on men that looked confident. If they looked sort of squirrely and really apprehensive about the whole thing, I definitely gave them a lower score. Now for a man who's anything but squirrely. Your turn. Okay. I'm about to look at a bunch of pictures of women, apparently, and try to objectify them. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's got a point. Snap decisions based on looks alone are shallow and shameful. But, hey, it's all in the name of social science. It's set up so that it's sort of a gut reaction. I don't know how consistent it's going to be, but that's where the averaging becomes important. Because you've got some kind of a number that should show a trend. And Jamie's trendy number? Higher than Adam's, but lower than Carrie's. So I got a 116. Whatever that means. Well, 